Okay, folks, may we just get started? Um, yeah, welcome to your first uh, afternoon session. Uh, my name is Alex Lin. I'm the senior technical product manager uh, working in Penguin Computing. And uh, again, it's just the first session of afternoon. So hopefully you enjoy your lunch. Um, I like it better than last year's. So <laughs> even though it's not hard, but still works anyway. Cool. Um, for, my, uh, for my session today, I'm going to talk about the new recommended uh, profile. The agenda comes with, um, uh, of course, introduction of uh, who we are, Penguin Computing, what do we do, and uh, how we think uh, OCP is important to us and also to um, all of the community. And so we'll start with uh, go through uh, some highlight about the RIC profiles and why we think um, the one we are proposing is important. And uh, 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 welcome to all the feedbacks. So a little fact about Penguin Computing. Uh, we, are, um, we are based in um, Fremont, California. Has been uh, 20 years. And uh, 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 we are the um, global uh, solution provider for HPC, uh, hardware, software, and also services. So other than the hardware platform, we also provide um, the, the, the cloud service, uh, it's called Shield Bewolf uh, Cluster software. Um, so AKA is a, a penguin, uh, penguin Computing On Demand, or POD. A little bit um, software uh, flavor into our portfolio so far. Um, for the OCP racks, we, uh, to the date, we have already shipped more than 300 racks so far. And uh, our CTO, uh, Phil Pocconi, uh, he's also the um, OCP, uh, HGP, uh, HPC representative um, and the TULO committee. So a quick uh, uh, review about the uh, open rec um, history. So uh, open rec, uh, as you guys knew, is an um, uh, innovative standard since 2012. So the idea is to enlarge the, the rec unit and the width uh, from the traditional EIA 19 g rack, and uh, also it can provide a better uh, core I/O installation and service environment by um, by reversing the the, the airflow. So um, since 2012, the major uh, update um, is the uh, version 2.0. So in OCP uh, standard 2.0. Uh, including two different depths, uh, 800 millimeters from, um, from V1 and 660, uh, the, the shorter depths is, an, is a new. And also, uh, not only the 12 volt DC bus bar, it, uh, it also uh, uh, it started including the 48 volt DC, traditionally used mostly from teleco. So, since, uh, since the launch of the 2.0, now we have multiple options. Try to think about that. You have uh, two options for the rec depth, two uh, bus bar voltage, 12 volt versus 48 volt. And uh, I have mentioned about the bus bar numbers. So from the version, uh, version one is the three bus bar, and the version two is one. Then the, the, the fourth parameter is a rack unit. For example, uh, you might have a 40, uh, 40 OU rack or 44 OU rack. So we have this many, many options. If we lay down some major um, profile in this chart, you can see um, from the 12 volt DC um, space from the V1, um, Facebook and the Penguin, we use a deep depth. And this, since the version two, uh, Facebook also use the um, one DC bus bar options. And um, the, other, uh, the other big uh, cloud service provider, uh, Google, they also use the, uh, they start to use the OCP, but the 48 volt version, but with the show depths. So, if we just took the three parameters from previous slide, we have eight combinations. What if we have different units? How many? Yes, two by four, so it's 16. 
So there are a lot. Then uh, just uh, just a quick review for those uh, uh, major uh, profiles will adapt. The 12 volt DC plus um, one uh, DC bus bar um, is compliant with the uh, open rack standard V2 and with the D depths. The 12 volt DC with three DC bus bar, that's a V1, uh, which um, uh, Penguin we are still using. It provides a high density, high power capacity, and a robustness. The 40 volt uh, DC and one DC bus, uh, the bus bar is new. Um, the advantage to have the 40 volt, uh, 48 volt DC is to provide the better uh, power usage efficiency um, um, from the electronics point of view. And uh, we are going to submit our, our profile um, for technical review um, by Q2 this year. Anyway, I only highlight the three uh, key uh, profiles. However, um, back to the previous chart, they were A or even more. So which leads to um, the next question. The, the original purpose to have an OCP is to try to make things easier, simpler. If we have a, a too many questions, it will make the, um, the deduction of the build cost um, difficult because we need to, uh, theoretically we should have a more common part and a more common design than multiple options. That's an that, that's, uh, engineer's um, uh, idea. So uh, we are trying to propose something which can provide the, the uh, optimized infrastructure design and which can provide the better uh, efficiency, flexibility, and the scalability. Um, as the original uh, OCP stand um, X4. So, and also try to reduce the waste. Okay. Um, so, Penguin's recommendation for the next gen uh, OCP rack is based on the current uh, 48 volt uh, DC, uh, DC rack. However, we still uh, prefer to choose three DC bus bar over one DC bus bar. Uh, there are a couple of reasons. First of all, it can maximize the density. Um, in our current uh, solution offering, um, like uh, the Tundra 1U server node, um, we can provide three nodes in one U high. So um, with the three bus bar, we can easily support over 100 nodes per rack. The, 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 uh, the, the second reason is um, to provide a more, uh, a, a better uh, cost, cost effective uh, from um, design's point of view. Um, it will be uh, more easier and also cheaper to deliver more than uh, 33 uh, kilowatts with, with the three bus bar instead of one because you don't need to make the, uh, you don't need to use uh, make your uh, material and of the DC bus bar uh, um, that much, and you can distribute that to the three bus bars from mechanical and the materials um, and generating the point of view. Also, it can uh, it is more easy um, to distribute power to the whole rack by using uh, three bus bars as well. For the positioning of the uh, power shelf, we also propose to put the light in the middle, not on the top or, uh, or, or button, uh, to distribute the power e more evenly. The third reason is the flexibility. Um, by using the three bus bar, it is actually uh, also easier to convert the existing I, uh, IT devices. So for example, if you have a, an AC power 19-inch uh, Naoki server, usually the, the um, AC, uh, AC power, uh, power supply is on either side, maybe on the left or right or both. So if you have the DC um, power module, you can, slide, you can easily do supply in without redesign the whole chassis. In that case, we can use either the left or right this bus bar 
But if you only have the, the V2 with one bus bar in the middle, you need to design the whole thing. That might work for some, uh, some, some, some special case, or if you have a big uh, enough project size to kick off that design. However, um, our majority customer, they are enterprise. So we try to utilize the same general design as, uh, as much as possible. So, any question? Yes. So. Could you elaborate a little bit more on uh, the placement of the power shelf? Why, why is that uh, more uh, better distribution? Uh, it is from uh, electricity distribution is a point of view. So you have a whole rack to distribute the power to make sure the power delivery to the far end um, uh, still enough. Uh, putting the power shelf near to the middle is the most uh, is the most logical way. Otherwise, um, the design for the bus bar need to be uh, you might need more you might need more copper. All the uh, transmission uh, uh, adaptive rate needs to be better. So we have already checked in two couple um, bus bar design vendors. They only face the same thing. So typically in our um, uh, rake. Uh, Configuration, we will, if it's only a single shelf, we'll put a light in the middle. If it's a, a multiple shelf, then we'll distribute more evenly, like close to the slot 11 and the 30. Okay. Yeah, I, I'd just like um, to see a, a break. I'm not asking for that now, but I'm asking for it later. A breakdown of the cost at the IT load, um, load le it costs all the way through because mm -hmm. you've increased the number of connections required, and so that connection is fairly expensive, and so I'd like to see that breakdown. Okay, yeah. Wow, this goes fast. I think I saw. Anyway, uh, for the quick con uh, conclusion part, we recommend to still embrace the three bus bar design when we move to the 40 year old DC. Uh, Over, we think the less most uh, convenient, flexible, and the uh, higher capacity design. And uh, um, in our purpose, we will uh, continue to use the, 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 deep, the, uh, the deeper depths, the 800 millimeter one. So um, for the existing IT gear and the power shelves, so actually, the, the server and the, and the storage solution we are selling are become deeper and deeper. So 800 millimeter can actually provide a better uh, thermal between the device and the disk bus bar. And also, it will be um, a much more cheaper and a flexible way to deliver um, more than 33 kilowatts or even further. Yeah, we, we do see more demands for asking for 40 or even 50 kilowatts per shelf. So it will be more difficult to, to implement that by using one DC bus bar. So, okay, question? Yeah, question. Yeah. Sure. Um, if you would go back to the slide that showed the matrix of applications, Okay, thank you. Um, so I'm just trying to understand things, and I think what you're saying is what you're describing now is a deep 48 volt rack with three bus bars in it. Mm -hmm. So you're describing where the question mark is. Yes. You're not proposing a change to quadrant three whatsoever, so the short 48 volt is still a single bus bar approach. It's only right. the deep one. Okay, yeah. so you're just talking about the question mark space there. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's, okay. Our, that's our proposal. Because uh, again, it's an open standard, so everybody can pick and choose what they need. Uh, yeah, yeah, but so, yeah. And the, so, yeah, so the HPC, is, it seems, okay, I understand. Yes. And I agree now that I understand scope, so thank you. Yes. Okay. Questions? No. Cool. Okay, all right. Thank you. <laughs>